Hello guys. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, teacher. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Thank you. It's a pleasure. All right. We're going to start with the class. Give me a second. And I'm going to pass attendance. Escuchan? Yes. 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 Okay, I will pass attendance and please, as soon as you listen to your names, say present. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon, thank you. All right, let's go. Ana Beatriz. Ana Maria. Ana Mercedes. Present. Andrea. Present. Thanks, Carmen. Carmen. Daniela. Present teacher. Thank you, Edith. Edna. Present teacher. Thanks. Esmeralda. Person. Present. Thank you. Ever. Present. Thank you. Iris Regina. Present. Thanks. Iris Rosario. Present. Jose. Maria Julia. Present teacher. Is Marvin. Present teacher. Ovidio. Present. Reina. Present. Yep. Ricardo. Ricardo. Roger. Rosa. Rosa. I'm here. Sandra. Present. Yeah. Sara. Present. Yeah. Silvia. Okay. Walter. Here. Yeah. And Jennifer. Well, I can see. Thank you. And I'm Patrice. Good afternoon, Carmen. Present. Thank you. What else? Let's see. Let's go for acá. Vale, estamos bien. Escuchen bien. Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Excellent. Let me do a moment.
Star. This is our class number 12. And quisiera saber cómo vamos a ese momento. Nuevamente, hemos logrado avanzar. ¿Alguna duda? Pregunta. Llegamos. ¿Qué sería? Debemos de completar hasta la sección 4, ¿verdad? Como ustedes saben, debemos dejar completos ahí. Eh, sigamos avanzando, ¿verdad? Se está actualizando. Y como le mencionaba ya, ¿verdad? Hemos, algunos se, se me habían quedado. Déjenme darle una chequeadita. Una, revisé por temprano, pero vuelvo a revisar en caso de alguien. Estamos bien. Estoy revisando rapidito. Sí, muy bien. Como dos o tres personas, dos o tres participantes, eh, les hace falta la sección 4. Según mis cálculos. Es que, excelente. Por, por avanzar, por completar hasta la sección 4 específicamente, que es la que tenemos que tener completa ese día. Sí. Excelente, buen trabajo. Sigamos ¿verdad? avanzando si lo deseamos hacer o si deseamos ¿verdad? quedarnos. Bueno, vamos al día, ¿verdad? Claro. Perfecto. Pero pueden ir avanzando, claro. Gracias, Ricardo. Veamos qué más hace por acá. Aprovechando ahorita. Bueno, solamente. Menciono, por si alguien se me ha quedado. Ana María, Esmeralda, José, Roger, Rosa, Silvia, Sonia, Stephanie. Bueno, estamos bien entonces. Ok, bueno, vamos a ir iniciando, solo para nuevamente el espacio, preguntas, dudas, en general. ¿Todo muy bien? Será saber. ¿Es? ¿Estamos bien? Escucho. Me es ok. Ok, thank you. Bueno, creo que estamos bien. Eh, recuerden que sería, finalizamos la semana 3, sección 4, y el próximo lunes, próxima semana, damos para inicio a la cuarta y última semana, sección 5, en el en la plataforma, y de igual forma vamos a hacer el examen final, ¿verdad? Sección 5, perdón, y examen final, la próxima semana. Para que, ¿verdad? Lo tengamos en consideración, lo tenemos, tenemos, ¿verdad? tenemos nota, la próxima semana finalizamos. El, déjame ver. Sí, el 7 de abril. Próximo jueves 7, finalizamos ese modo. Perfecto. Si hay preguntas, háganos saber, please. Okay. Today is Thursday, March 31st. This is class 12. The topic for today is address of frequency, right? We're going to talk about the frequency, of, the frequency of activities that you have, right? Specifically, because we're talking about food, we're going to express, right? 
the frequency of those activities, talking about food, right? Have lunch, breakfast, dinner, etc. Okay. Let's start. And I'm going to give you the following information. These are address of frequency. We have always, usually, often, sometimes, rarely, rarely, hardly ever, hardly ever, and never. These are called address of frequency. Address of frequency. But in other cases, you will find the live frequency adverbs the same. Algunos lugares lo van a encontrar como frequency adverbs. Okay, they are used to express the frequency, the frequency of activities, right? That is where we use adverbs frequency. We express the frequency of the activities. For example, every other has, you know, a percentage, let's say, right? A percentage. That's because, you know, you develop or you perform some, some actions, right? It depends, right? Depends on the time, let's say. For example, if you say always, it's because you do something every day, right? Every day. One common example. You know, the, the, the most common example in this case, if you say always, you know, you can express, right? I always brush my teeth, right? That is something that you do every day, right? I always brush my teeth, okay? So always means 100%, 100%. They have percentages, right? Tenemos porcentajes. Eso indica la frecuencia de esa actividad. Always. Another example can be, you always eat at two o'clock. You always eat at two o'clock. Maybe you eat right after class because it finish at 2 p.m., right? So you eat your lunch at 2 p.m. or 2 o'clock. That is a way. Always has the 100%. That is something that you do, you know, every day, every day. Usually, you know, we are decreasing, let's say, right? Decreasing, we have at the, at the top, we have 100%. And at the bottom, we have 0%. Never. Never. And then, and así, ahora tenemos always. Y hacia abajo, ¿verdad? Tenemos never, 0%. Usually, usually has it 95%, right? 95%. I can say, right? They usually eat fruit. They usually eat fruit, right? Maybe if I say they usually eat fruit, they usually eat fruit. This one has a, a 90 or the 95%, it's just, you know, it tends to vary, 90 or 95%. So in this case, we can say, right, that this person uh, eat fruit every, let's say, what? Um, I would say five days a week. And I say usually, right? Usually, so they usually eat fruit. So these people eat fruit, let's say five days a week, five days a week. So it is not always, right? It is not always. So that's why usually has a 90 or 95%. Often, often has a 75%. For example, if you practice sports, but you, that's something that you do, you know, on some days, let's say what? Maybe on weekends, right? or three days a week. So you say, we often play basketball, right? We, we, we often play basketball. So often has a 75%, 75%, all right? 
often. Sometimes, sometimes it's in the middle. 50%, right? 50%. I sometimes eat chocolate, right? Let's say that you eat chocolate, what? Let's say um, twice a, a month, for example, twice a month. You know, when there is promotion, right? There is promotion. So sometimes it's not, you know, like regularly, regularly. I sometimes eat chocolate. Let's say that I eat what? Uh, two bars of chocolate uh, twice a month, right? Twice a month. Una dos veces, por ejemplo, al, al mes, para decirlo así. No es siempre, ¿verdad? O sea, sometimes, a veces. I sometimes eat chocolate. It rarely, rarely has the 25%. I rarely play the guitar. I rarely play guitar, right? If you are in a, if you're a member of a band and you play the guitar, right? And you have some events on weekends, specifically, right? On weekends, but you know, they happen like, let's say in two months, or, you know, in some cases, right, three or four ma five months is, you know, you can say, I rarely, I rarely play the guitar, right? Good afternoon, Rosa. Esmeralda, too, hello. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? Hello, I'm fine, and you? Great, I'm okay, thank you. All right, talking about average of frequency, average of frequency, and this express, right, the frequency of activities, the frequency of activities. We have always, usually, often, Sometimes, rarely, hardly ever, never. And every, every ever has, you know, a percentage, percentage. So that means the frequency of activity, right? How often do you do something? How often do you do something? And when I say, right, always, again, I always brush my teeth. I all brush, I always sorry, brush my teeth, right? That is something that we do every day, right? Three times a day. In the morning, in the afternoon, and you know, at night. Always. Usually 95%, remember, they usually eat fruit. Right? They usually eat fruit. Often, I guess, like I said before, right? 75%. This is like we often play basketball. We often play basketball. That is something that happens, right? Again, let's say what? Only on weekends, for example, on weekends. I know that most of you work, right? So you don't have time, right, during the week. So you play basketball on weekends. So we often, we often play basketball. Uh, sometimes, sometimes it, it has a 50%. And this one, you know, means like, you know, for example, chocolate, right? We know that chocolate is delicious. But this is not good, right? To eat a uh, like every day, right? No. So you eat chocolate, right? Maybe what? Three or two times, oh, sorry, twice or three times a month, right? It's not uh, like regularly, right? Sometimes, sometimes. Rarely, rarely this one has a 25%. I rarely play the guitar. No. So that is the frequency, right? Like I said before, right? You are a member of a band and you have some events, right? Some events in a specific, some specific time, right? Posiblemente alguien pertenece a una banda, ¿verdad? Y tiene sus eventos, pero no es siempre. Es ahí, ¿verdad? Según el tiempo. I really play the guitar. Or you have, you can play the guitar, right? But you don't have time to, to to play it and you play some in some cases, right? I rarely play the guitar. Hardly ever, 
hardly ever has the five percent. And this one, you know, it's like they hardly ever use a car, right? Now with the with the gas, right? With the gasoline. So some people, you know, uh, prefer right taking the bus because you know the, the gas is expensive. So they hardly ever use a car. They prefer right taking the bus. Hardly ever has the five percent. And never, never has a zero percent. So this is like, you know, when someone doesn't watch TV, right? For example, I never watch TV. I don't have time. I mean, I work, I have to do all the things. So I never watch TV. I never watch TV, zero percent. Maybe this person, right, prefer using the cell phone, right? It's different, but I never watch TV, okay? So these are the average of frequency. Always listen, listen guys and repeat. Always, 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 always. 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 Usually. 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 usually, 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 often, 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 often. 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 sometimes, sometimes. 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 Rarely. 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 Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Never. Never. Okay. Okay. Any questions? No. No. Repita. Repita. Profe, eh, rarely, algo así. Rarely. Rarely. Rarely, así. Rarely. Rarely. Así. It, the, the way, yeah, it's, it's, it's similar to that, right? You know, in, we say, right, we have this word, rare, 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 rare rarely. Rare, rarely. rarely. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> that is the way. Yeah. Let, let me give you some examples, right? More examples in context. Here we have more examples. I can say, right, I always have cereal for breakfast. So I have the 100%, right? If you are not, if you are on a diet, right, you're taking a diet, right, you have a diet, uh, you know that you have to eat, right, healthy. I, I always have cereal for breakfast. I don't change it. I, I, I prefer cereal every day, every day in the morning. I always have cereal for breakfast. I usually have chicken, rice, and soda for lunch, right? That is in the, in the afternoon, right? In the afternoon, lunch. I usually have chicken, rice, and soda for lunch, 95%, right? It, sometimes I can say I sometimes have lunch at 2 p.m. In my case, it's like that because, you know, I don't tend to, to have lunch before the class, right? We take the class from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m., right? So in my case, I sometimes have lunch at 2 p.m. through class. But that is sometimes, right? Sometimes. I sometimes have lunch at 2 p.m., 50%. Uh, I can say I hardly ever have breakfast, right? There are some people that they don't eat in the morning. Una persona que no, 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 no toman el desayuno, ¿verdad? Eh, a veces, a veces lo toman, pero es raro. Hardly, I hardly ever have breakfast. I never have pancakes and meal for dinner. I never have pancakes and meal for dinner. So it's weird, right? So, I mean, it's not common to see, right, that someone is eating, you know, pancakes and milk for dinner. However, you know, some people do, right? Posiblemente, alguien nunca, ¿verdad? Nunca es CNL, ¿verdad? Pero, claro, hay casos. Y es válido, ¿verdad? Claro, cada, cada quien. I never have pancakes and milk for dinner. Those are some, just examples, you know, some examples. Any questions? I can say, right, my mother, 
uh, always have, sorry, has pupusas for bread. My mother always has pupusas for breakfast. Okay, so we have the average frequency. What is the way we structure the average frequency? I mean, when do we place it? I mean, where do we place it, sorry? We use a subject. We use the adverb of frequency in this position. Then we have the verb and the complement. That is the way. My mother is a subject. Always is the adverb frequency. Pass is the verb. And pupusas for breakfast is a complement. That is the way. Okay. Another example. Say, Jose uh, sometimes eat fish, right? On weekends, right? Jose eats, okay, eat, sorry. Jose, subject, sometimes is the other frequency. Eat is a verb, and fish on weekends is a complement. This is the way. We'll say sometimes eats fish on weekends. For example, they can say, I often have, let's say, yeah, yeah I often have meat, rice, a salad, and soda for lunch. Okay. I often have meat, rice, and salad, salad and soda for lunch. Mm. I often have meat, rice, salad, and soda for lunch. All right, this is the position of the average frequency is after the subject, after the subject. If it is affirmative, right? If it is affirmative. If you have a negative form, if you have a negative form, it's different because the negative form, we do this, right? We use a subject, but after the subject, we use don't, doesn't. And then we have the other frequency. So I can say, I don't always, I don't always uh, have pupusas for lunch. Sorry, for, for breakfast, right? I don't always, I, on the auxiliary. This is the adverb, always. Have is the, the verb. And this is a complement. Okay. I can say, my father doesn't, doesn't, let's say, what? Doesn't usually eat. Um, well, we have dinner at 7 p.m. Okay, so my my father doesn't usually have <clears throat> sorry, the verb, and this is a compliment. That is all. I don't always have purposes for breakfast, or my father doesn't usually have dinner at 7 p.m. So this is the way we use, you know, the average of frequency in negative, in negative one. Well, any questions over here? Preguntas? Not yet. Anyone else? Okay, we have more and more ideas. As you can see right over here, we have average frequency, always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, never. So we always say, right, I always eat breakfast. I usually eat breakfast. I often eat breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. 
breakfast, sorry. I hardly ever eat breakfast and I never eat breakfast. There is an exception. There is an exception with one of the average frequency. It, it is sometimes, sometimes can be placed at the, at the beginning. You can say sometimes I eat breakfast. This is an exception con, con sometimes. We can use sometimes at the beginning of the sentence. Vamos a utilizar sometimes al inicio de la oración. And only that one. Solamente con ese. Sometimes I eat breakfast. It's at the beginning, right? What about if you have a question? If you have a question, you use this, right? If there is a question, we tend to have this. We have do or does, right? Then we have the subject. We use the adverb frequency and the complement, right? With a question mark. And you can say, do you ever, <clears throat> did you ever have fish for breakfast? Ever is another adverb. And this one is similar to always, always, ever. Ever is similar to always. Did you ever have fish for breakfast? We have the, the following ways you can answer, right? Yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. Or no, I never do. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? Yes, I always do. No, I never do. Um, sometimes I do. Right? That is the way. Okay. So this is the way we ask questions. Again, do you ever have pupusas for breakfast? Yes, I always do. Mm, sometimes I do. Or no, I never do. Okay. What about if I ask you, eh, Walter, do you do you ever have pupusas for breakfast? Well, sometimes. Okay, sometimes I do. Okay. Edma, do you ever have pupusas for breakfast? Sometimes I do. Sometimes you do. Um, Ovidio, do you ever have pupusas for breakfast? Sometimes. Sometimes, okay. You? Yeah. Sandra, do you ever have pupusas for breakfast? Um, no, I never do. You never do, okay? I, yeah. No. All right, okay. Uh, see? Marvin, do you ever have pupusas for breakfast? No, I hardly ever do. Okay. Let me see. Reina, do you ever have pupusas for breakfast? I never do. Okay, no, you never do. Okay. Maria Julia, do you ever have pupusas for breakfast? Sometimes I do. Sometimes you do, yeah. Thank you. That is the way, guys, we ask questions. Do you ever have pupusas for breakfast? And it depends right, on the response. Of course, we can change right, the question and we can say, do you usually do you usually have a lunch at 12 o'clock, maybe? You can say, right, yes. Uh, what? I always, I always do, or sometimes I do. No, I hardly ever, you know, do. Or I never do. Okay? It depends. And here we're using usually, right? Usually. Auxiliary verb. Subject, average frequency, the verb, and this is a complement. Right? Very good. Any questions? Preguntas? No, no question. No. Somebody else? 
No, teacher. No. Okay. Very good. Well, guys, we're going to move on to the next part. And I guess we're going to practice together, right? We're going to work in teams. I need you to practice with the questions and the average of frequency, sorry. What do you have to do? You need to ask the following questions. Remember that I assigned this yesterday, right? You were supposed to answer those questions. What do you usually have for lunch? And you say, right, I usually have meat, rice, salad, and juice, or I sometimes have, or I never have, right? It depends, depends. What do you usually have for lunch? You say, I, I usually have, or I always have, I usually have meat, rice, salad, and juice, or I sometimes have, or I never have, etc. And we have a second question. What do you usually have for dinner? I always have, or I sometimes have, I never have. You have to use just one idea, right? One, one of those prompts. For example, if you ask me, right, what do you usually have for lunch? Uh, Walter, can you ask me the question, the first question, please? Um, excuse me? Yeah, can you ask me the first question, please? Okay. Hugo? Yes, yes. What do you, what do you usually have for lunch? I usually have meat, rice, salad, and juice. Oh, Very good. delicious. Yeah, right. absolutely. Jummy, jummy. Very good. That's what you have to do, okay? We're going to answer the two questions. We're going to work in teams. Vamos a trabajar con esas dos preguntas ahorita. Vamos a hacer la actividad en las breaker rooms. Quiero que, por favor, si que usan también una captura, una foto, o copien las preguntas, Vamos a hacer las preguntas a nuestros compañeros. ¿verdad? Vamos a intercambiar ¿verdad? roles. Primero alguien va a preguntar, va a responder. Luego vamos a hacer lo mismo, ¿verdad? Otra persona va a preguntar y se va a responder. ¿Ok? We're going to practice with this. I need you to use address of frequency. I always have, I usually have, eh, I never have, I sometimes have, etc. I need you to use the address of frequency. Any questions? Preguntas Any acerca questions? de los... No, oh. okay. Somebody else? Teacher, eh... a la... uh, excuse me. Uh, a la hora de regresar, este, nos va a poner en grupos igual que el otro día. Sí, sí. Eh... Este, a la hora... Eh... A la hora de, de regresar, eh, nos va a preguntar eh, lo de nosotros o lo del compañero, o lo de la compañera. Um, well, I, I will ask you about your information. No worries. Okay. Thank yeah. You. You're welcome. Sim. Sí. Well, I will create seven groups. Seven groups. Please, I will ask you to ask the questions. Ask the questions. Listen, if possible, write the, the answers that your classmates gave you, right? The answers that, that your classmates give you, sorry. Hagamos el ejercicio, ¿verdad? Escriban lo que sus compañeros les dicen. Quiero que practiquemos de esa forma. Hey, what do you usually have for lunch? Your classmate is going to tell you, right? Okay, I usually have, and you write, right? Write the D. Escribámoslo. Escribámoslo en nuestro cuaderno lo que ellos nos dicen. Okay? Well, let me see. Are you ready? Yes? No? I will have the following teams. Listen. Pueden los siguientes equipos. Pueden tener un grupo de cuatro. In the first room, I have Iris Rosario, Reina, Rosa, Y Walter, you four. Number two, 
Ana Emperatriz Iris Regina y María Julia. Ana Emperatriz Iris Regina María Julia. Number three, Andrea Ovidio. Well, I have Walter again, but you know, Walter is twice, right? Eh, Walter está con dos dispositivos, pero eso parece dos veces. Probablemente, let me see. Si se puede quedar en ese grupo, Walter, en el grupo número tres, con Andrea y Ovidio. In this, in this device. Eh, please, yeah, please. Así, es, así okay, se queda con, con Andrea y Ovidio para que trabajen parejos. Ok. Thank you. Number four, Carmen, Ever, and Sara. Carmen, Ever, and Sara. Five, Daniela, Marvin, and Sandra. Daniela, Marvin, and Sandra. Six, Edma, Gerson, and Ricardo. Edma, Gerson, and Ricardo. Number seven, Ana Mercedes, Edith, and Esmeralda. Okay. I will give you for this activity lesson seven minutes. Seven minutes. It's enough. Enough for you, right? Are you ready? Teacher. <clears throat> yes. Excuse me. Eh, como tenemos que escribir lo, lo que nos diga el compañero o la compañera, ¿verdad? Este. ¿Se va a escribir así como I usually o, o refiriéndose a la otra persona? That's a good question. Yeah, you have to write, you have to write the idea depending on your, what your classmate tells, tells you, right? For example, imagine that I asked uh, the question to Walter, right? Walter said, okay, Walter, what do you, what do you usually have for break, for lunch, right? And uh, Walter said, right? Okay, I usually have a chicken, Rice, salad, and juice, for example. Okay, I'm gonna write Walter uh, usually has chicken, mm -hmm. rice, salad, and juice. That's what Walter says, right? That's what you have to do. You need to write like that. Walter usually has, or Rosa always has. Sandra always has. Uh, Marvin uh, sometimes has, etc. That's what you have to do. Okay, thank you. Okay, it's a pleasure. Eh, no se preocupe, Ricardo, si no puede, verdad, copiarlo, date la manera de recordar, verdad. No se preocupe. No sé si alguien más tiene preguntas, pero vamos a iniciar con la actividad. Vamos. ¿Está todo claro? Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, okay. Let's start. I'm going to open the rooms. Sorry? I'm going to start the, the rooms. I'm going to open the rooms. You're going to start with activity, right? And please ask and answer those questions. What do you have? What do you usually have for lunch? And what do you usually have for dinner? The two questions. Okay. Let's start. You have seven minutes. A Jennifer, can you hear me?
Pero ok, que... te hago la pregunta. Vaya. Hay un... Geralda, you couldn't enter? Hi, teacher. Hello, ¿no puedo entrar? Sí. No, no pude. No sé con quién voy y que se fue la luz un ratito. Oh, ok, ok, ok. Se va a estar con Ana Mercedes y Edith. Déjenme ver si okay. la puedo incluir nuevamente. Permítanme. Ok. Eh, Johnny, ¿quién es? Cheese. Cheese. Yeah. Um, tortillas. You shall have one.
you finish? Yes, teacher. Hi. Yes. Very nice. How was the activity? Tell me. Perfect. Very good. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Let's continue. Okay, we're missing some participants. We're going to wait for them. Okay, we're back. Very good. No me dejaron cenar. <laughs> Cené, cené así. Lai, sonó lai. Sí, tuve que, tuve que cenar así por el tiempo. Ok, eh, how was the activity? Tell me, could you finish? Terminamos. Yes, teacher, because usted yes. nos sacó el grab de plataforma. Sí, no, pero terminamos, solo almorzamos. Ay. No, I'm sorry, the, 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 the time is over, right? Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, I will ask I will ask some people, right, for some, some ideas. Let me see. Iris Rosario. Um, what does, let me see, what does Rosa usually ha have a break for lunch, right? What does Rosa okay. what does Rosa usually have for lunch? Rosa usually have chicken, rice, and salad, tortilla, and juice. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Rosa sometimes have fish. He uh, hair uh, uh, se puede decir hair? Hair never have Eh, oh, never. Berenjena. She never has. She never has. Ah, como para decir ella, o tengo que decir mejor she, sí. para que sigo hablando de ella. She yes, yes. Uh, never has uh, berenjena. Eggplant. Eggplant. Okay. You say eggplant. Berenjena. Eggplant. Thank you. Eggplant. You're welcome. Thank you too. Thank you too. You have to say she has. She had well, she never has, right? She never has. That is a way. Very good. Okay. Um let me see. Andrea. What does Walter usually have for dinner? What does Walter usually have for dinner? Walter usually scramble eggs. Okay. Beans. Well, I never drink coffee at dinner. For dinner. For dinner. For, for dinner. dinner. Yes. Okay. Very good. Very good. Just one thing, Andrea. Don't forget the verb. Walter usually has. Walter usually Walter has. Walter usually has. Okay. Yes. No se le olvide el verbo. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Let me see. Sandra, what does Marvin usually have for lunch? Uh, no me mencionó uh, for lunch, sino dinner. Dinner, okay, no worries. Tell me. Sí, la que sí me mencionó for lunch fue Daniela. No sé si quiere que uh, le diga de los dos. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's okay. What does, what does Daniela usually have for lunch? Daniela sometimes has coffee, eggs, bacon, and beans. Bacon. And Marvin, bacon. Sí. bacon. Not bacon, yes. Yes, yes. Y Marvin solo comentó que I never had fish dinner. Ah, okay. You can say Marvin never has. Marvin never Marvin has, never has fish. Uh, fish for dinner. For dinner. Yes. Okay. okay. 
Very good. Thank you. See. Here is one. What does Edma usually have for lunch? Um, her, she sometimes have yeah. soup. Okay. Yes, yes, again, again. You said she sometimes has soup, right? Sometimes have soup. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Very good. Um, Ever, what does Sarah usually have for dinner? Uh, Sarah usually has fried eggs, cream, anymore. Okay. Good. Thank you, Ever. And we will go with the last participant. That's the time. It is Regina. What does Maria Julia have for lunch? Uh, Maria Julia. Maria Julia usually has soup, tortilla, and soda. And soda, okay. okay remember, it is Regina. Maria Julia usually has. Has. Okay, Maria, Maria Julia usually has. Exactly. Okay. Very good, thank you. And the last participant, Edith. What does Jennifer have for dinner? Uh, Ana Mercedes or Esmeralda? Uh, Edith del Carmen. Sí, 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 yo. Pero Mira, uh, eh, but you, you were working with Esmeralda and Jennifer, right? Sí, y Ana Mercedes. Ah, Ana Mercedes. Okay, sorry. Okay, eh, what does what does Esmeralda usually have for dinner? Uh, dinner. No lo dijo dinner, solo lunch. Alcanzó a decir. Ah, okay. Pero, what does... pero tengo el de, el de Ana Mercedes completo. Ana Mercedes, okay. okay. Eh, tell me. Okay, the Anna Mercedes usually have chicken salad juice and tortillas. And in our dinner, Anna Mercedes always have beans, eggs, and cheese, uh, cheese, and never a coffee. She never has coffee. And she yes. never has coffee. Okay. And remember, Edith, Anna Mercedes usually has, has. Pass. Uh, yes, very okay. good. Thank you. Okay, guys. Uh, did you have any questions? It's all clear? No, speech. No. Okay. I want to assign you a homework. Vamos con una tarea. Have a frequency. Look at, look at the examples shown. I need you to write at least six sentences expressing what foods you have for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and using average of frequency. I need you to use the average of frequency. Always, usually, sometimes, never, often, hardly ever. And I need you to write your sentences. Right? I need you to write six. For example, I always have pupusas for breakfast. I usually have chicken, rice, and soda for lunch. I sometimes have lunch at 1 p.m. I hardly ever have breakfast. And I never have pancakes and milk for dinner. I need you to write six in your case. Six sentences using, you know, average of frequency. Okay, you have to tell us what you have for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, right? So all the examples and write your own sentences. This is the homework for today. Una pregunta. Una yes. pregunta. ¿Cómo construiríamos la oración si quiero decir que yo nunca me salto, el, por ejemplo, el desayuno? ¿O nunca ah, okay. dejo de? Yeah, you can say, I never skip. I never skip uh, any meal. 
skip. In email, yeah. Skip, okay, thank you. Según yes. lo que entiendo es que vamos a hacer seis oraciones del desayuno. Seis de mm. la noche, seis de la cena, o seis en no. total. Yeah, six in total. Six okay. Es en total, es okay. en total. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Uh, anyone else? Questions? Is the homework clear? Yes. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. it is. Okay. Alguien más preguntas? Estamos eh, claros con la. I, con I la had the question, okay. teacher. Tell me. The other question. Eh, En el, en el manual que nos enviaron solo está hasta la clase 10. Por lo menos esta que estamos ahorita no está específica porque yo lo busqué, lo, lo tengo en, en... Y no está esa, esa, esa clase. Se refiere al manual al que está en, el, en la plataforma. El que nos mandaron. Ajá, el que nos mandaron. Sí está. Yo ahorita me acabo de... Fíjese que yo me acabo de meter para ver si es que no lo había impreso y me salió hasta la 10, me sale a mí, no me sale más. Está bien, está bien, no está bien. No, está bien. Ajá, hasta ahí llega, creo que llega hasta la 10 y usted ahí puso que íbamos en la clase ahorita, vamos en la clase número 12. 12, ah. ya. Ajá, lo que pasa es que lo vamos, ¿verdad? Nosotros estructurando de, de diferente manera, ¿verdad? Ah, ok. Sí, no porque yo preocupé. lo busqué ahorita que lo iban, que estábamos viendo, lo busqué en el manual y, y me di cuenta que no, solo dice hasta uh -huh. el 10, y entonces me quedé con la duda si es que a mí no me habían llegado las últimas dos este, clases, por decirle así, o las últimas uh -huh. dos unidades. Uh -huh. Sí, sí. Bueno, no se preocupe, todo, eh, ¿verdad? Se, se va a estar viendo acá lo... Eh, ¿Pues como un um, podría, ser, podría ser, aunque nosotros ¿verdad? nos vamos enfocando en la plataforma. Claro, ambos, ¿verdad? Manual y plataforma, pero ¿verdad? más que todo el enfoque está en la plataforma, ¿verdad? que es lo mismo el manual, claro. No sé si claro su duda. No, sí, ok. Ok, ok. <laughs> ok, very good. Well, guys. And this is the home for today. Vamos a quedarnos acá, ¿verdad? Ya es hora. Eh, hagamos la, la práctica, por favor. Es una, una tarea extra para que ustedes sigan practicando con el tema de ahora. Eh, de igual forma, por favor, si nos hace falta, estoy observando, ¿verdad? Antes de iniciar la clase y como tres o cuatro participantes son los que están pendientes con la sección 4. Yo, pues todavía hay tiempo, sé que lo van a hacer, ¿verdad? Durante este día para que todos seamos, ¿verdad? Completos. No hay ningún inconveniente. Thank you so much. Uh, I want to wish you a happy weekend, you know, a nice afternoon. I will see you next Monday, guys, for the last week. Have a nice, you know, again, weekend. If you have some questions, let me know. Take care a lot and blessings to your families. Bye-bye, guys. I'll see you soon. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Don't cry. Bye-bye. Thank you.